Whoa, what happened? Is it is it Wednesday already? Happy Wednesday to you. It's Wacky Wednesday here at Sea Leg Journeys. It is April the 17th. Can you believe it? We're over halfway through this month. We've only got like, what, 13 more days to go? Less than two weeks and we'll be in May. And you know what happens in May? That's right. It's going to be cruise day for Sea Leg Journeys. Not once, but twice. Mm, looking forward to that. Oh, let me get my comments up here. Let me stroll over here to the chat real quick this morning. Uh, we're just coming over from the See Me Raid with Kurt and Marsha. Um, I missed Jimmy this morning. I just slept late. I'll tell you, the last two days have been exhausting for me. Exhausting. And I was just, oh, I'll probably take a nap after the show. <laughs> probably not. And first one in was Z-Man this morning with Disease Gaming and Home Theater saying, Good morning, Sea Legs. Happy hump. Day right on Z Man. Happy hump day to you, brother. Scott Smith coming in saying good morning, Sea Lake Journeys, driving and listening. Hey, you know what happens there, Scott? If you're driving to work, if you're driving home, if you're driving to the pineapple patch, oh, wherever you're driving to, let Sea Lake Journeys drive with you this morning and keep you awake. And maybe we'll keep Sea Lake Journeys awake too. How about that? <laughs> Cruising is fun anytime. Saying good morning. That's Cheryl coming in right there. Power couple and everyone in the chat, right on Cheryl. And uh, hey, after uh, we missed Jimmy this morning at 6 a.m. and uh, 7 15, we was over at Eddie Lugo, eight o'clock was Curtin Marsha. Here we are at 8 30 with us, and don't forget, nine o'clock, jump over there to go live together with Cheryl right there at Cruising is Fun Anytime, and her husband Jeremy. That's right, with Jeremy and Cheryl's cruising. Then we got Eddie and Scott with them also. That's going to be a fun show over there this morning. Learn something about cruising, y'all. TNT's Adventures to Sea saying, hello, cruise family. 31 days away. 31 days away from what? Alert, alert. Alert, alert. It's a group cruise. Group cruise, y'all. With your host, Sea Lake Journeys, TNT Adventures to Sea, and Ocean to Ocean Travel. So come on, let's get on that Norwegian breakaway. May 19th through the 26th, 2024. We'll be leaving out of the Port of Miami, going to Puerto Plata, Dominican Republic, St. Thomas, and Tortola. And finally, we're going to NCL's private island, Great Stirrup K. Contact Bruce at Ocean to Ocean Travel today to get those group rates and special perks. Join the Facebook group for all the planned events. There's room for everyone. Don't forget, contact Bruce at Ocean to Ocean Travel.com. We'll see you on the ship. See you on the ship. Well, we hope to see you on this ship anyway. Come on and join us. It's not too late. We have 31 days to get there. And right before that, I think it's like, well, let me look here. I wrote it down this morning. 25 days. 25 days we'll be on the MSC Seashore. That's going to be fun too, y'all. And uh, there's Midlife Travels coming in saying good morning, Chet and Robin and everyone in the chat. Hey, Midlife, what is going on over there, y'all? <laughs> good to see you. Day one adventures. Time to get. Wacky. Right on, Damon. We're going to do it right here this morning. It's going to be a little lethargic wacky this morning, but wacky nonetheless. Mm. And we got controversial cruising coming in. Scott with the see me ray. What's going on, Scott? Woo! -hoo. And hey, also want to get back up there to TNT for a second. Uh, we were on Bruce and Bruce's show last night, Ocean to Ocean Travel. Now, I was going to put the show up over on our channel like I did last week, right? And I don't know, I boneheaded up. I think it's just because I was just so tired and exhausted. It wasn't coming up on my computer over there. I was trying to make it work over here. Didn't see it over there. Ended up just shutting it all down. So I had like five minutes of recording up there that I didn't even know I had until after the show. But it's gone now too. So sorry about all this technical difficulty, guys. That's what happens when you get tired. You just do stupid stuff. So I'll have a next Tuesday night show from Ocean to Ocean. We'll be over on our channel too. And next week, we're going to be talking about Tortola and Great Stirrup K, the last two stops on that group cruise. So if you haven't been to those places and you want to learn a little bit about them, join us next Tuesday night at 9. If you know something about them, come on and join us next Tuesday night at 9 and help us learn some more because uh, we're, we're trying to figure it out as we go, y'all. Hey, Tom and Terry. 
<laughs> Can't wait to hang out with them again. It's been a, been a long time since we hung out on a ship with them. And, uh, yeah, Scott came in on the See Me Raid. And Friday night over at Controversial Cruising, Cruising, we're going to uh, be playing a game over there, y'all. A game show over there. You know, Scott's a little wacky, too. I think it's going to get wacky over there at Controversial Cruising Friday night at 8 o'clock. <laughs> good morning to you, John Gallery. He's saying good morning, Chet and Robin. Thanks for joining us, John. We appreciate you being here. We got C tripping with who? That's right, Kim and Scott. Kim and Scott tripping on in here this morning from the sea. Good morning to you. And TNT's got the hashtag SLJ. Hey, if you want to put your channel link in here, that's how you do it. Hit hashtag SLJ. My little robot will put your link up. Let other people get to find you and know you and love you like we do here at Sea Lake Journeys. Mm. Yeah, baby Enzo is asleep next to me. He can make you fall asleep, even when you don't want to fall asleep. Good morning, Jim, coming in. Good morning, Chet and Robin and the Sea Lake Journey crew. Woo-hoo! We know you had fun on your cruise, Jim. Right on. We're, we're so excited about ours. You know, we're excited when other people get to go on cruises, too. I know uh, Scott uh, McNeil. You know, he he flew across the ocean the other day. He's getting ready to get on a ship. What a great time he's having over there, y'all. And there's Denise from Bone Tired Travelers. Hey, y'all, again, right on, Denise. Uh, the air-conditioned problems he's talking about, see me traveling this morning. Totally get it. We did that just a few months ago. Guys, you got to have your air condition. You know, I remember growing up, uh, when, we first, when I first growing up, I was living in a trailer, and there was like a little window shaker unit up at one end of the trailer, you know, and other than that, we had like, you know, box fans and windows we used most of the time. So, you know, air condition wasn't as big back then. I don't know how we survived. That, look at there, hashtag see me raid. That's right, Jen. Thanks for coming in off of that. Ride the wave. <laughs> uh, there's James Catanese coming in. Good morning, Sea Lake Journeys. Chet and Robin, good morning to you, James. Good morning to you, James. And Fearless Rambler, what's going on, George? Good morning to you, too, my friend. So there, Jackie Hudson. Hey, good morning, Jackie. Looks like everybody's here now. Everybody's showing up, right? That's how you do it, midlife, right there. Hit that hashtag SLJ. Let people get to find your channel. Guys, they, they are also travel agents, and they show stuff on the ships, and they can hook you up with stuff too. So you, we, we've got three different travel agents, you know, that we can recommend through the channel here, uh, midlife ocean to ocean travel. And don't forget embarkation nation with Jennifer and Andrew. Fantastic people. And Z man says, good morning, Robin. Happy hump day. She says, good morning back Z man. <laughs> good morning to you. Kathy coming in on the see me raid. Also right on. Scott's telling everybody good morning, and we got an ahoy from Captain Billy. Ahoy there, Chet. The captain is here. Right on, Captain Billy. Good to see you this morning. I saw that Kurt agreed with you on something. I had to stop, go out, and see if the eclipse was back. Was there a reverse eclipse? You know, were wolves howling? Were bats flying around? What was going on? Stars were still out in daytime. Stuff was going on. I don't know. But hey, you know, we we're talking about St. Thomas last night on Ocean to Ocean. And I just thought, you know, anybody missed that last night, go check that video out. The uh, St. Thomas is a great port. If you haven't been to it yet, we definitely recommend you get to go there. It's a part of the United States Virgin Islands. So you'll see that little USVI next to it. US Virgin Islands. So guess what? They speak English there. Okay? English is the language. And American dollars is the currency, so everything's easy. And the port, if you park in Haven site, that's the main downtown port where most all the ships are going to park, except for the great big giant ones. You know, a lot of Royal Caribbean ships are too big, and probably the Mardi Gras would be too big too. They're going to have to park out at Prince Royal something, and uh, that's another port away from the downtown area, just a little bit, like a 10-minute taxi ride or something, I think. But most of the ships are going to park in Haven site right there. And when you step off the ship, whoop, you're stepping right into the port. I mean, there's no long gangway like you got, you know, Amber Cove or, or some of those other ports where you need that pedicab to get there. <laughs> this one, you just step off the ship and you're right there. And right across, basically like two blocks away, you can just walk there. That's where that sky ride is. 
the sky ride and we got a video on that on our channel and it is fabulous it takes you up to paradise point get to go up there and get to me the best views in the caribbean when you're sitting up there at paradise point looking out over that harbor you see your cruise ships down there you see all the other little boats and ships out there in the port and little houses scattered along in the green it is just a beautiful sight that sight alone will make you want to go cruising and i just kind of remember when we was first looking at cruising there was two pictures that i saw that really compelled me to want to go and that was one of them uh, the other one was saint lucia the the pittens the two extinct the two dead volcanoes i'll say sticking up off the island uh, those two iconic views of the caribbean will make you just want to go cruising it worked on me i went and i've been going ever since <laughs> <laughs> John says the eye is looking better. It is. Uh, I had to go to the eye doctor yesterday. I had to go to two eye doctors yesterday. So I spent my morning in the eye doctors. You know, the first one, you know, uh, got a bleeding retina around the optic nerve and all that. And they've been watching that for a year now. And, and now the pressure keeps getting higher. And they say, oh, gee, that's you got glaucoma now. So you got to take these eye drops. So it ain't no ain't no big thing. Doesn't affect my vision at all. That's why I go back, went to the second eye doctor though. They want to make sure it ain't affecting my vision. It ain't. I still need glasses to drive and to see far away, but up close, I don't need them. Go figure that out. So, so yeah, so I got to go pick up my eye drops today and put eye drops in my eyes. How about that? So ain't no big thing. It sounds terrible when you hear it. Ah, ah, my retina's bleeding. Right, my optic nerve. Ah, <laughs> my pressure's too high. Glaucoma. It sounds, it sounds really bad, doesn't it? It ain't that bad. You just put eye drops in. It reduces the pressure. He says, you're going to have a little bit of bloodshot eyes. Yeah, your eyes are going to be red. So take it at night before you go to bed. That way, you know, most of the redness is gone for the next day. So I'm like, okay, we got this covered. If that's the worst thing that happens today, I'm in good shape. So I think I'm in good shape. Hey, there's Elisa's Adventures and Cruising saying hi, everyone. Elisa. <laughs> right on. Good to see you. Now, that was a fun video you had on St. Pete the other day walking around. Uh, great little walk around video over there at Elisa. If you just want to walk around St. Pete Pier and check it out, y'all. Michael, the real is coming in saying, good morning, chat family. Good morning to you, Michael. Good morning to you, Michael. Glad to see you here. He's coming all the way from Arizona, y'all. Now, there's a good idea. Smash that like button. Thanks for that. <laughs> See me traveling saying hello, Chet, and everyone in the chat. Kurt, Marsha, hey, I was on your show, you know, yesterday too, but I, I couldn't chat. I was in and out doing stuff, and then I was I was lurking, lurking and working, you know. But today I got to kind of sit there and hang out. Good chat this morning. Always a good chat over there with Kurt and Marsha. Z-Man says, breaking news, primetime will be on tonight. Mm. Prime time will be on tonight, right on Z Man. Don't forget to put your time in there so we know what time. And Michael says, Sea Legs, happy hump day. Hi there and good morning, cool, sweet, dear friends, Robin and Chet. Woo, good morning, Michael, right on. I'll tell you what, it's going to be a hot day over here in Florida. I think it's going to be like 90 here today, here in Central Florida. Uh, we're cranking up the 90s already. It's still, still getting in the 60s at night, but uh, that'll disappear in another two or three weeks. And James saying hi to TNT. Woohoo! Michael's putting a hashtag in there so you can find him. And it's a cruise life coming in. Hey, Chet and Robin. Hey, Pete and Lisa. What's going on? Good to see y'all here this morning. I, actually, I know it's your lunchtime over there, Pete. Hey, you know what? We'll make it part of our show. Pete, tell us what you're having for lunch today. <laughs> Maybe we can pr plan accordingly because I have no idea what I'm going to have. Probably tuna fish. Uh, it's a group cruise. <laughs> and there's Ocean to Ocean. Bruce and Cindy right there. Like I was telling y'all, we was on her show last night. And now uh, be sure to check it out if you haven't. Go get the hashtag replay and find out a little bit about the uh, Norwegian breakaway. We talked about the ship as well last night. We're we'll going to be going on, on the ship that we're going to be part of. Tom and Terry are kind of leading the way there with their Facebook group and stuff. They're they're awesome people. Can't wait to hang out with them. Y'all are missing out if you don't get to come on this cruise with us. But you'll see the videos. <laughs> it's going to be so much fun. 
and Bruce and Cindy hanging out with them. Haven't met them yet live and in person, but we're going to in just how many days? 20, uh, 31 days, 31, 32, something like that. Michael Ann spoiled mama. Come on. Hey, good morning to you, Michael Ann. Good to see you here this morning. Uh, John said, I had to get off the chat, but still watching. Okay, John, right on, brother. We appreciate you. Hey, there's Scott McNeil. We was talking about you this morning. Uh, and you're, you're way past hashtag KMA. Scott's past that. He's into the, like Kurt and Marshall said, we're, we're just jealous mode. What a great cruise he's fixing to have, that transatlantic. Scott, we're going to be following you along the way as you put stuff up. Facebook, YouTube, wherever you put it. We're going to be checking it out, brother. And Scott says, are you ready, Chet and Robin, to watch with our contest or to match with our contestants? We are so ready, Scott. It's, it's going to be such an awesome Friday. People better get their popcorn, their peanuts, their M&Ms, their Coke. Get ready to sit by the TV, try to match their wits with ours in that game show. That's going to be exciting. I'm really looking forward to that. Mm -hmm. Captain Billy showing you how to do it right there. Hashtag SLJ. Check out Captain Billy, y'all. And there's Will G. Good morning, all working and listening. Hey, if you're working and listening, working and lurking, whatever you're doing with working, let us work along with you. Hey, so let me know, what have you done in St. Thomas? Have you done anything fun? We've been there uh, three times. The first two times we did underwater stuff, right? We never even got on land, guys. We got off the boat and, and we got on another boat and we went out and did water stuff. <laughs> <laughs> it was our third trip there before we walked over a couple blocks away and got on that aerial sky lift, which, by the way, was so good. We're going to do that again on this cruise. And uh, it, it's just a, such a fantastic thing. And it's cheap. You can buy the tickets right on the cruise ship there or before you go for 35 bucks a piece. And, you know, what a deal. Get up there and uh, have a sandwich and or some chips and something to drink and just look at that view wow it's it's such a relaxing day uh, let's see who have i missed here elisa says we are ready to watch scott <laughs> you know we are that's right elisa <laughs> and there it is right there this friday 8 p.m eastern come watch our panel of stars including that's right robin and me mr and miss sea lake journeys as our special guest this week woo with cruise life tv and the carnival cruise addicts my goodness it's going to get crazy up in there y'all it's going to be so much crazy going on i don't know if youtube will be able to contain it too much crazy for one channel ah! <laughs> uh chet's going to rock it you oh yes we are we are we are and you're welcome we're we're glad to be a part of it thanks for inviting us to this scott we're really looking forward to it and TNT says, Mike Clock is a travel agent too, I think. Uh, yeah, I think he, I think he's working in somehow in conjunction with Bruce, maybe. I'm not sure how a lot's working, but uh, Mike was on the show last night with us too because he's been on the breakaway, and he was talking about some of the what he saw as pros and cons, and uh, it, was, it was quite interesting. You know, he was talking about the different special dining venues, the layout of the ship, you know, layouts of ships, People have right on Billy. <laughs> um, people have preferences of layouts of ships too. That's one of the things we noticed, and we we've kind of had preferences too. And you know, much as we we love the Mardi Gras, it, sometimes it seemed kind of weird. But then again, it's because it's so different than the other carnival ships we've been on. However, we did appreciate you know not having to walk through the casino, a smoke filled casino, because you know some ships you got to go. <gasps> Take a deep breath and it, mm, run through the casino because the smoke monster's coming to get you. And the smoke, it's like the fog on that horror movie. It's coming around. It's grabbing you. It's pulling you down. It's trying to get you to play that slot machine. Grab a roulette wheel. Ah! So we were so glad to not have to walk through a smoky casino. So there are different cruise ship layouts that you may prefer and some you may not prefer. And it's... They're just different like apples, oranges, and bananas. You can like all three. You can say that's different, but I like it. That's different, but I like it. You know? Let's see what we got here. Uh, you can see live from last night on O2O 20 on our page, right on TNT. There you go, guys. You can find it right there. Mm. And yes, TNT's Adventures to See, Mike Clock, Ross with Orange Cone Vlog, and I partnered up. Okay, there you go. 
there's the partnership right there, y'all. I'm going to leave that up there for a minute so y'all can see who that is. Uh, Ross from Orange Cone Vlog, Mike Clock, and TNT's Adventures to Sea and Ocean to Ocean, y'all. Hey, that sounds like a pretty good crew, don't it? Uh, Michael Ann says that skylight, sky ride looked pretty cool. It is cool, Michael Ann. So 700 foot rise. It seems like more than that. When it said 700 feet, I thought, wow, sure seems like it went up higher than that. I figured about double that. And it is spectacular. And it's fun. Uh, we did let people know, though, that if you're in a wheelchair or a scooter, you're not going to be able to get on it. Because uh, first off, you got like 27 steps. It's like, to me, like two stories of steps and you know you're not gonna be able to use walkers or crutches nothing like that to, to get up there you got to be able to walk up them stairs which fortunately i can now you can get to the um sky point whatever that is the sky right paradise point you can get to the paradise point restaurant they have a you know you can take a taxi cab and get around there because there's parking spaces up on that hill where cars can drive up there and there's wheelchair ramps. So if you are in a wheelchair or scooter, you can get up there to that. You can still ride the ramps and get to the restaurant. You just can't take the sky ride. So, but those views are still available to you. And there are tours, regular little bus tours and stuff that uh, you can sign up for if you're in a wheelchair or scooter. And they'll take you to see the island and then take you there also so that you can go in there and see the view. And Captain Billy says, I'm not a ta, I'm not a travel agent, but I'm a real captain. Real captain. He's not, he's not a spirit. He's not a spook, y'all. Woo! He's actually real. If you see him, you can touch him. At least that's what I hear. Captain Billy. I hear people can touch you. I don't I don't know what that means. But uh, Captain Billy says the sky ride has some great views at the top, though it feels a little sketchy riding up the sky ride. Oh no, it feels great. Now, and take it from me, I'm an acrophobe, right? I've got a fear of heights, but I still loved it. I mean, I was like, got my camera up there. And I, I, I loved it. I was like, wow, this is fantastic. I felt like I could have zip lined down that cable. It was so cool looking. That's how, how great it was. And it seemed pretty safe. Uh, well, if you see our video, you'll see it looks really, it looks really safe and it felt really safe. Uh, yeah, I, I thought so. And uh, TNT says, uh, Captain Billy is a captain of a rowboat. Captain of a rowboat. He says he's joking. <laughs> Tell us if it's true, Captain Billy. Uh, glad your eye is better. Yeah, the sty is really just, I don't even feel it no more. It's still getting the old, you know, the little eye crap in the morning to get out, but it uh, looks a little red in the camera. But outside of this camera light, I don't think it's noticeable. Cheryl saying, hey, everyone. Hey, Cheryl. <laughs> no TNT. It's my dinghy. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> it's a Chuck Berry song, ain't it? <laughs> Ocean Ocean says, good morning, Michael. Right on. And we got a lot of hellos. It's a Cruise Life says, chicken salad sandwich, 40-minute walk today. I now need some sugar and an energy drink. Woo! Hey, Pete, just get the, I'll tell you, if you want an energy drink that makes you think it's sweet, you get one of those Monster Ultras. It's in a white can. It tastes really sweet. You think you're drinking sugar, but it's zero sugar, zero calories, and it'll it will pump you up. Woo! I mean, I, if I drink half of one of those, I'm wound up more than I am right now, right? But yeah, the chicken salad sandwich. Going for a walk. Pete's getting Pete is getting in cruise shape. I can tell. Pete's going to get our double squeaky of the day. <laughs> Working on that cruise shape. Uh, let's see. I'm down like 12 pounds now. I lost a lost some more. I'm down 12 pounds. I was two under 201, like 200.7, I think it was this morning. So, yeah. So, I'll by the time you see me Friday, I might be down under 200. Definitely will be by Sunday night. A Sunday night, I will be alone. I'll just go ahead and throw that out there. Robin from Sea Lake Journeys will be flying to Tennessee. Robin's can fly, apparently, because she's doing fly to Tennessee. Get up there, and she's got to work for a week. Man, she's going to be working in the mountains. How about that, y'all? I'll be down here. Me and the dogs will hold the fort down. So Sunday night, we will still be here doing it up here at Sea Lake Journeys. Alicia says, we know we're going to miss out. It, uh, yeah, we talked about that, didn't we, Sunday night, the fear of missing out. Sometimes we got a fear of missing out, y'all. Sounds like it's, it's a cruise life. 
Yeah, it's a cruise live. There's Team Reese coming in. Good morning, all driving and listening. So won't be in the chat much, but I'm here right on. I don't know if it's Kiki. I don't know if it's Ray. I don't know if it's both of y'all, but hey, thanks for joining us this morning. Good to see y'all. Destination Fun says the captain is giving a blanket. Hello to everyone. That's Captain Sherry right there. Hey, right here at Sea Lake Journeys. Not just one Scott. We got, we're in Scott compliance. We have two or more. And now with captains, look at here. We got two captains. We're in captain compliance. How about that? We got three captains counting Scott. Scott's a double whammy. He's a Scott and a captain. How about that? <laughs> Breaking news. Primetime will be on at 630 Eastern. It's going to be a crazy one over there with the Z-Man, y'all. Captain Billy says, Sherry, you, you forgot to put fake captain before. <laughs> no, I did not, Captain Billy J. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, y'all. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. No, I did. <laughs> Day one says, have a good one, peeps. Hey, Damon, thanks for joining us, my friend. Uh, Friday, our Ray Parade. Don't forget, we have a lot of videos, a series of a whole bunch of us. And Damon's usually in that one. I'm, I'm pretty sure he'll probably be in this one too. We got some great videos coming Friday. We've got something coming Friday. I don't know what it is. Oh, uh, Oh, yeah, Chebang. If you want to go to Chebang Restaurant with us, that's what we're going to be doing Friday at the Ray Parade. Lori Barber coming in saying, good morning. Good morning, Lori. Lori, it's only like 25 days. 25 days. And we'll be seeing you in person up there in that yacht club. How about that? I'm ready to hang out. We're ready. Me and Robert are going to crash by the pool. So if we're talking to you and all of a sudden you hear snoring, it's because we're ready to chill out for the first day. We'll probably sleep. <laughs> <laughs> captain billy says one real captain me and the wannabe captains <laughs> i love it <laughs> oh boy all right guys hey one more a quick recommendation anybody know a good shirt that's like sunproof sunscreen proof that i can probably buy it like a walmart because that's all we got around here if you do throw it in the chat for me real quick and i'll probably ask again friday because i gotta figure out i want to get me a one or two shirts uh not with collars though Cause I've got a yard shirt, but it's got a collar and everything. I want one. So if I'm just hanging out, uh, out in the sun and, and I don't want the collar on, but I want something that's kind of blocks the sun. Let me know what, what, what you got going on available with that. If you know anybody, anything. So don't forget, uh, Friday morning, starting at six o'clock, Jimmy, the astute tourist with the Ford man, seven fifteen Eddie Lugo studios, eight o'clock curtain marsh at see me traveling eight 30 sea leg journeys with me and nine o'clock. Go live together with Cheryl, Jeremy, uh, Scott, and Eddie. Right. Mm, I did it all. Uh, thanks for that. See me traveling. <laughs> so, yeah, don't forget them. And Friday Ray Parade, Sunday night live here at Eastern Standard Time. Hey, bring your comments. Uh, in the, You can throw them in the chat down below or over here and let me know what kind of sunproof shirt that I can get. Until next time, guys, we sure thank you for being here, and we will see you around the channel.